When you pass a dark hallway, doorway, or unlit room and feel that irresistible urge to look, it's not just curiosity. It's a deep mix of instinct, psychology, and survival mechanisms that humans have carried for thousands of years. Our brains are hardwired to scan for danger. In ancient times, darkness often hid predators or threats, so early humans learned to check dark spaces to ensure safety. Even today, that instinct remains. When you sense a dark or unclear area nearby, your brain automatically nudges you to look. Not to frighten you, but to confirm whether you're safe. Another powerful factor is uncertainty. The human mind dislikes the unknown, especially when visibility is limited. When you avoid looking into the dark, your imagination often fills the void with worse possibilities. By looking, you reduce uncertainty and reassure your brain that nothing is there. Ironically, the very act of checking is what calms the fear. There's also something called threat monitoring. When your environment changes, like passing by a space you can't fully see, your brain increases alertness. This heightened state makes you more aware of that darkness, pushing you to investigate even if it feels uncomfortable. It's a built-in safety check designed to keep you alert, not afraid. Curiosity also plays a role. Humans are naturally drawn to unknown, even when it's intimidating. That mix of fear and curiosity creates a tension that makes dark hallways oddly compelling. We don't want to look, but we also can't resist. Movies, stories, and cultural associations add to the effect. We've seen countless scenes where something lurks in the shadows, so part of our brain almost expects something to be there. This makes the urge to look even stronger, as if confirming the darkness is harmless. Ultimately, the urge to peek into dark spaces is a survival instinct wrapped in curiosity. It's your brain's way of saying, make sure you're safe, even when your emotions say, this feels spooky. <laughs>